안녕 everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today I have the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium Automatic Transmission IVT. This is the first official land out from Hyundai Motors Philippines. I have driven the Stargazer in Cebu and here are the things that I realized. And I want to tackle one thing for sure. Many of us are comparing this Hyundai Stargazer to the Mitsubishi Expander. Yes, Mitsubishi Expander GLS Automatic costs 60,000 pesos less. But does it have the ADA system that the Stargazer has? In our channel, we say, Shija. The Hyundai vehicles have parametric front grille design, while Mitsubishi has dynamic shield grille. So this for me looks more futuristic, while the Expander looks more aggressive and also somewhat spaceship-like. But then, since we had the Expander for a long time, I kinda got too used to it. This kind of brand new design feels unique and also somewhat future-proof because I think Hyundai is definitely going where the future is headed to. The Expander has its own unique exterior look that attracts many people. But I can say the same thing for the Hyundai Stargazer. It just has its unique front face and also the rear face or the rear. This also has a 1.5 liter four cylinder just like the Expander, but they do have different transmission. Well, the IVT is a CVT for Hyundai, but for me, it definitely performs better than other CVTs that are somewhat laggy. And four speed automatic transmission Expander, when it was launched in the Expander Cross, many people were saying, oh, why didn't you get a CVT? So when people are complaining this for being CVT, there are also other people who want their automatic transmission to become a CVT. Although the Stargazer might have higher horsepower and higher torque, the Expander wins in its minimum ground clearance. The Expander has 220 millimeters, while the Stargazer has just 185 millimeters. So that might matter a lot, especially when you are coming from provincial areas. I have tested this Stargazer going uphill and it was performing greatly. We are here in Cebu, Mactan, and we are along Naga Road. In Korean, Naga means get out. We are driving the Stargazer for now. Later, we'll be in Creta. You know very well. I am not biased. You know very well. We really enjoy driving the Stargazer and also the Creta. So today, we are driving for about three to four hours and we will have a better exposure of what it feels to go on a long drive yeah. with friends and family but as of now you i can tell that this is a very good family car right it very is good. it is can yes. you tell me number one why super comfortable super quiet you know it's very the, the, the ride is so refined super in the spec sheet it's seven people but here in reality, you can put 15 people. 15 people, yeah. Since this is the baby Staria, we yeah. can go. And you're in the Philippines. <laughs> How many cup holders this car has? Me, me, me. Oh yeah, what? Uh, 15? No, wrong. Ah. It has 19. Wow. Wow. Basically, this is uh, priced at about 1.3 million. 1308. This kind of design is something uh, uh, that will be future-proof. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we just went through a not so perfect road there and the suspension handled it well. Yeah, it just has that sweet spot. Yeah. And we, I've tested this with seven people on board in the this video and it really performed well power-wise. Comfort wise, braking wise, I even did a braking test. If there were uh, competitors, <laughs> what would they be? Uh, the close second is the Honda BRV, the new one. Hello, back Hello. It. Well, it has, it has Honda Sensing as well. Then, it but it has a uh, lane keep. Lane keep as well. Uh, yeah, with the steering really assisting. So yeah. it really works well. And yep. for this kind of systems to work well here in the Philippine setting, that already says a lot, yeah, honestly. That's true. Yeah. 
Looking at the side of the Stargazer, oh, definitely it looks more fluidic than having edgy like the Expander. So it is a more uh, tame looking, more like a bullet looking or a bullet train looking or a Robocop looking than the Expander. And you know, having keyless entry system is quite similar with what you can find in an Expander. Kako mentioned this area is quite unique because it's like an X, a plus, and it just meets here. The Stargazer has this unique H lighting system that looks like Hyundai and also some other spaceships outside. And what we can find here is backup camera, rear sensors, and a non-powered tailgate system. But just look, it just stays like this. So your rear door kind of has a big cut right here. So it's quite interesting to see that. And it's easy to fold your seven seater here on the third row and to have a fully flat surface here for your everyday things. And some people say uh, we don't have air vent here for the third row, but as of now, I left the fan on. Wow, I can feel the air here so much than in some other cars that even has vents but doesn't have enough air or power. The interior of the Stargazer is somewhat uh, quite viral in terms of people saying it looks nice and it looks ugly. For me, yes, this might be a bit hit and miss thing. This one, as Kako mentioned, like a, a pencil case. Uh, yes, I ha used to have that kind of pencil case as well. So those who are watching, if you feel the same way, hugs, hugs, virtual hugs. More spaces. Many people praised the Stargazer for its well-located uh, uh, storage area. Here, 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 and so many places more and on the second row we'll get to that but they do have more amenities there and the screen right here you get it only in the top line but it is very stargazer has more ada system like lane follow and it also has uh, blind spot warning it also has wireless charging although expander i like it because it has brake hold system what uh, expander doesn't have like this one has what this one doesn't have, expander has so if we mix them two then we will have a perfect one, but the price will go up. Also here, we have somewhat a digital instrument cluster. Uh, it looks nice and you can also have different drive modes unlike the Expander. I'm not trying to say that Stargazer is a lot better than Expander. It's just that it will uh, cater to many different people with their different lifestyle. We are here in the second row. We do have an armrest here without cup holders but you do have cup holders here in the door and you have like three bottle holders and one cup holder you cannot ask for even more extra cup holders more compartment here instead of seeing an air vent here but we do have crazy air vent here well these are blowers that are really strong it goes everywhere to the third row to the second row it might even go back all the way to the first row it is that powerful and all this time, we never complained about having this uh, set of air blowers here in the second row and not having it there. Charge ports are here. And this right here is also unique to the Stargazer wherein you can store up to 3.5 kilograms of weight drinks and food. More uh, pouches here that are divided and well done. So the seats are in leather. The center tunnel is on the low side. There is a cabin light here. So it is a vehicle that is for the family, just like the Expander, but it just has a different vibe when you get inside and also when you see it from the outside. This one is more modernized, while the Expander is still quite intimidating, but still nice. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope more Hyundai vehicles will come to our channels and I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true.